Hey guys, it's Renee from Kids Simple Stuff. So a few months back, I went with my family to have dinner to this restaurant and they took a picture of the family. And towards the end of the dinner, they gave us the picture inside of a frame, a cardboard frame. So I decided to keep the frame with the photo instead of just buying a new one because I wanted to try a DIY and I just wanted to keep all the memories together. A few days back, I decided to finally do something with my frame and this is what I did. And I did use nail polish instead of acrylic paints, but I'm going to explain why, the reasons why, towards the end. So the first color that I used for the background is actually a color club inside of a Shina Glaze's bottle. I had this bottle like almost empty and I had the color club I wanted to have a bigger brush. So I went ahead and basically poured the color club inside of my China glazes bottle. I would suggest you to work outside, and especially if you're going to be working with nail polishes. But even if you're working with acrylic paints, just go ahead and uh, paint your, your frame outside. So I gave that a couple of coats, and once that was dry, I moved inside because the um, amount that I was going to be using next wasn't too much. So I just went ahead with two colors. One is my really pigmented silver color from Color Club, and the other one is the only acrylic that I have is water-based, and it's gold, and it's kind of a vintage gold with some glitter in it, I think. So um, I just basically placed a big amount of uh, nail polish or acrylic paint, and then I scraped down the excess. It would be like um, kind of an effect of um, stone or something like that. I don't really know if this technique has a name, I don't really know what I'm doing, but that's what I did. And I'm using the Conath scraper. And you can use a um, card, like a debit or a credit, an old one, of course. And I just waited for it to dry. It's going to take less than the black nail polish because the amount of uh, paint you're using is a lot less. And then what I did was I just took my silver pigmented uh, tiny brush and I just kind of painted strokes, I guess, or just um, kind of making uh, the form or the shape more obvious rather than having it uh, scraped, you know, and I just went as I felt like I needed to go and kind of the effect that I was going for is a stone and once all was dry and I made sure that it was dry because if not the next step uh, which is uh, using a stencil was going to get sticky in there and I just bought it at the, se the school section at, at Target. I just went ahead with my nail polish and the black one and uh, a really tiny brush and I just basically uh, followed the line that comes with the powder on it. I just didn't feel the the whole shape because I just wanted to have a line marking the, the the mask pattern and I just realized that I wanted to have only three like columns so I just went ahead and paint the third one on the middle part of my frame and one was on the top and one was on the bottom there's a gap where the photo goes in the, obviously but if you want to go and just kind of paint the whole pattern you can go ahead and um, do it on the back. And then, because I felt it needed something, yes, I had the pattern, the mask pattern, but it was on a really uh, painted kind of background. So I decided to go ahead and use my silver, really pigmented color, just to give it a touch of, you know, pop-up effect. I just went ahead and with whatever was left on the brush, I just took that and just um, dragged in uh, the whole shape. I was making coffee and I just wanted my frame to be kind of not as glossy, so I, I saw Michelle Fan doing this with her nails and I thought it would be fun to try, so I just went ahead and tried it. And that is basically it. I just love the mask patterns, like basically in everything. And I just wanted to give this a try. As I mentioned before, I did use nail polish instead of acrylic paints. I had an extra bottle of Color Club hanging in there and I do nail art, but I had an extra one, so I thought I would just give it a try, you know, to experiment if it worked uh, for, for this kind of project. If you don't be, feel comfy 
like using nail polishes for this kind of projects just go ahead and use acrylic paints so i just want to share this one if you like it don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you are into diys and stuff don't forget to subscribe and check out my channels i have more stuff in there and don't forget to check out my blog if you're into photos and reading so thank you so much for watching i really appreciate your time i'll talk to you later take care bye